Hi, we're at the Bellagio buffet dinner time. We've actually been here for lunch too, so I'm just going to tell you what the differences are as I show you various dishes. It's actually been a, a, a pleasant surprise. There was a minor slip some time ago in quality, but it's, it's picked up again and it was a pleasure to eat here. The ingredients were of good quality, good quality ingredients and fine cooking, good ways to cook and very good supervision uh, of the way that dishes are prepared. Let's go to the buffet. They've modernized this area a little bit. This is where they used to have a large salad and deli section and now you've got this table here kind of <clears throat> uh, blending in with the bar section over there. Um, so you have a smaller salad section overall. There's a little bit of here that has always been here and then a little bit at the end. Um, this is plain lettuce and then you obviously dress it yourself um, and you've got the toppings here. I mean, it's fine. I, I never really was a huge fan of uh, Bellagio Salad in that it's good, but it doesn't wow me the way, say, that Mirage Salad has always wowed me. Um, minestrone, four different types of soup. You've got minestrone here chicken noodle soup and two more types over there they might have changed them because we were here for lunch and now they're changing to dinner but I'll talk to you as I notice if I notice differences really good breads here um, they had um, earlier on they had a really nice Italian bread here now they've got a cheese bread and uh, this is really nice if you toast it and this is of course healthier whole grain bread very delicious soft very good quality now, because the American section is always busiest, I'm going to actually start from a different section. I like this section of Bellagio. Um, it's similar to lunch. Uh, there are a couple of differences. They always have sushi here and they'll have, I don't know if you can notice, those uh, sushi... Those... And uh, these spring rolls, these rather large spring rolls over there. Sorry for pointing. I wanted to make sure you understood which ones I was talking about. They are amazing. They, they're delicious. They're super fresh. They're vegetable and, and prawn spring rolls. They're very, 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 very fresh. Um, they're wrapped in this deliciously light and, and, and fresh wrapping. It's divine. It's a rice made wrap, the way it, it, the pastry in which they're wrapped. I'm sorry for my voice. I still have a cold, so I sound awful. I know. Sorry, guys. And um, but it was really one of the highlights here, and they really make them delicious. Sushi is very good here, of course, because we're at, we're dinner time. Uh, they have added um, this raw fish, delicious, very, very, very flavorful. And that's kind of a specialty of Bellagio, by the way. Um, you've got ready-made salads in gourmet type dressing you may or may not like them depending if you like traditional or if you like something a little different this is kale grapefruit and pine nut salad and then classic Bellagio Caesar salad it's a little bit too much dressing some people have said but it's really really and entirely subjective this is good spinach salad with goat cheese um, if you don't like them to give it to you in this tiny tiny bowl just give them a large plate and they'll put it on this is the highlight one of the highlights again of Bellagio this on the right is spicy tuna hand roll basically what it is it becomes a cone can you see that's the cone wrapping and uh, it is delicious fresh tasty the texture is soft you can taste the high-end parts of the tuna not of the rejects that you get even at cheap sushi places steak tartar and here on the other hand we have parmesan cheese in large flakes which is a delicacy you can put it on top of your hot uh, dishes and it, it melts really quickly more cheeses and uh, deli meat and then here we've got a, a, a very reduced 
section that used to be at the at the beginning and I showed it to you at the beginning they used to have this large deli section now it's really really reduced which is a shame because I'm into deli I'm into you know guys you know the artichokes and this and that and lots of different types of deli meat um, but they have a, a restricted a reduced section you might not notice if you come here to Bellagio for many other dishes that they have you might not even notice um, nice quality fruit nice quality freshly cut fruit it tastes good you know that it's good quality they don't take the rejects and these things are important when you eat and to be honest the, the Bellagio Bellagio lunch was only around 20 22 dollars in all in total 22 dollars it's the price of many 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 less than good buffets uh, in Vegas and we have a list of average or bad buffets that you know you can only eat if you have a coupon or a free entrance or something like that and if you have to pay full price I wouldn't even go anywhere near them uh, I would rather just come here at least you know that what you eat is actually good quality it's not the biggest the largest buffet I mean for that you've got Bacchanal next door but it's double the price too Bacchanal salmon roulade very tasty and uh, smoked trout Mediterranean calamari salad good quality mixed with some uh, meat and uh, of course because it's dinner they brought the crab legs they had uh, before they had um, things like um, smoked salmon good quality smoked salmon capers you know a lot of that typical cold uh, seafood section and they had a nice seafood dish and a nice cold rice seafood dish but now they have the crab legs king crab legs and snow crab legs now macaroni and cheese cream, cream spinach and beef burgundy uh, and then something a little different braised red cabbage fish a couple of fish dishes including salmon uh, the yeah you know it was everything was good it's good but nothing here was outstanding in my opinion but it was very good I mean there's a difference say for a, from one to five I would give it a, a four um, steamed chili and sea bass they are actually changing a lot of dishes but I've eaten here uh, both for lunch and dinner and so hopefully now I can give you a good summary I actually was very very surprised that every single dish 98% of the dishes were actually well cooked and the quality was maintained through the end of the of the lunch or the dinner section this is orzo pasta with artichoke peas and pearl onions a, a delicacy a delicacy if you like if you know what orzo pasta is is a much healthier type of pasta very delicate pesto mashed potatoes Bellagio is the only place that serves pe pesto mashed potatoes and and it's very tasty vegetable chô mein which was very very tasty um, there's still a different another buffet that serves even better than that but you have to read top dash buffet to know <laughs> or just check the other videos but it was good it was less mm, delicate a bit stronger flavor one to soup too strong a flavor for me it's good it's flavorful but it's not in my opinion it's not authentic original wonton it's too strong uh, but it's a, it's a matter of personal opinion I mean personal taste I like it a little bit more delicate miso soup again it's quite strong and full of a lot of good quality mushrooms but you know some of you may like it more a more type of liquid miso soup the pastas are always good here some of them are heavier than others you know pesto and cream is quite heavy and then of course mushroom alfredo sauce is quite heavy but it, the, the sauces are good they are as close as it gets to authentic Italian it's not there yet but as close as it gets to in say Vegas buffets cold shrimps lemons and of course cold snow crabs for dinner good quality pizza finally a Vegas buffet that serves good quality pizza 
other buffets have wood wood fired pizza but they get something wrong uh, making good quality pizza you really need to know how to toss the dough you need to know consistently what type of toppings you put in and and the the ingredients the amount of each topping and also you got to make sure it doesn't dry up you got to make sure it's not too full of cream or oil or rather and uh, it's a lot more difficult than one may think making good pizza is a lot more difficult than one may think and here they do as the best job so far in terms of Vegas buffets here you ask you you would have the mini sliders for lunch but for dinner they have actually come out with the large sausages chorizo and chicken sausage and you can see how it's prepared over there and then they cut it and they place it on these trays and then of course the rotisserie section perfectly perfectly cooked meat and uh, you've got roasted spaghetti squash which is delicious a very 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 um, delicate dish I was quite impressed at how delicately it was cooked very healthy very healthy vegetables if you're into that and uh, more vegetables here all very well cooked if you like if you find vegetables boring then Bellagio prepares them in more more spicy than at other buffet so they'll have good flavor here so try them out here uh, of course mashed potatoes broccolini and uh, and uh, cranberry sauce of course and some more rotisserie and now it's time to show you the dessert though before you start wondering what on earth has happened by the way it's very quiet today it's supposed to be uh, the real first day the first real day of the consumer electronics um, conference or shows and uh, as you might already know many flights have been cancelled because of the terrible drastic weather that was encountered in so many areas of, of North America and uh, and this is the result you go everywhere on the strip out of all places and it's dead quiet last time I, I took a video of Bellagio which I never posted because our equipment was stolen as you probably already know um, it was crazy I had to navigate my way through this buffet but today it's super quiet and I'm glad I came here because it gave me the opportunity to show you this without fighting the crowds and I heard by the way for those of you who wanted to come here for the festivities say around Christmas the waiting time is 30 three hours three zero and the prices of course go up significantly but people don't care and uh, and this is a dessert section of course absolutely good even something simple like bread pudding which you find absolutely everywhere I I don't have a lot of it because I find it heavy and yet when I'm here at Bellagio I eat bread pudding because it's so well cooked banana foster of course you've got your quintessential uh, ice cream dispenser which you know they could probably use some real Italian gelato but it's popular like this regardless nice quality um, good consistently good desserts gorgeous fudge brownie good quality the ingredients that 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 were used for these desserts were good and and uh, it shows for example for example for example this called napoleon for those of you who may be aware of italian pastries who may know italian pastries this is as close as it gets it's not quite authentic because italian pastries that you buy in italy which is called pasticceria is actually uh, really divine and I put a lot, a lot of pounds when I'm there and this is close at the top is not as delicate as the Italians make it but I mean it's really a 
a close enough imitation and it's very good. Then sugar-free cheesecake, you've got your sugar-free in practically all resorts, um, buffets, Vegas buffets. You have, um, you have desserts that are regular desserts and sugar-free desserts. Now the secret is, is it sugar-free with chemicals or is it sugar-free with uh, natural sweeteners such as stevia? Find that out. It's not advertised and, and my assumption is that they actually use just regular artificial sweetener. But if you guys uh, know some secrets that I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong. But that's really wherever I've asked, I've, some people didn't know. And so I'm assuming that I'm sure it's not stevia or some other natural. And then you go, you're gonna go, oh my gosh, she's going on about sugar. But you know, some of you are very health conscious, okay? Some of you come to these buffets and they still wanna eat healthy food. So I'm trying to give you information that is useful for all of you. I hope. Again, we're putting a banana.